remiss if I did not comment on a, a guy who apparently is a YouTuber and gamer of some sort. Uh, I, I will admit I have not followed his work at all because, frankly, it doesn't seem particularly noteworthy. Uh, he's a, a YouTube star, apparently, named Ethan Klein. Okay? And um, he, uh, he apparently has some problems with me that culminated in him suggesting that if there's another Holocaust, I should be the first to go, which, last I checked, is the sort of thing that gets you kicked off of YouTube if you are a right-winger, but apparently he's a big... Well, it did get him kicked off of YouTube, so, you know, you got it. You got it, Ben. <sighs> he's trying hard to pretend. He might not actually know. I mean, um, he, he might not actually know because he is a goober. left winger so that's totally fine here is ethan klein being a delightful human being i was just gonna say if there's Looks another right. holocaust if we they start rounding up the jews again i hope ben gets gassed first well that's that's nice he i i have a rule generally which is i don't want people killed in the holocaust yeah unless they're palestinian in which case you know then that's fine and cool and good i love that actually inject that shit directly into my veins he hates cancel culture, Ben, unless it's, you know, someone who he does not consider to be an ideological ally. Like if another Holocaust happens, despite the fact that Ethan Klein seems like a, a rather unpleasant human being, I would hope that both he and his family would escape. It seems like a, also worth noting here that Ethan Klein, who is chuckling about the Holocaust there, he seems particularly fond of Hamas, which is an actual genocidal terrorist <laughs> that wants to kill every Jew in the, in the Middle East. <laughs> Dude, come on, bro. Come on, bro. There it is. There it is. There it is, dude. I've said this time and time again. You could be as fucking anti-Semitic as you want as long as you sit there and say Israel is so sick. I love Israel. It's my favorite country. They've never done any wrong. Ben will defend you. He has. He's defended Ann Coulter. I, I told you. I told you. That's the only thing he fucking cares about. He's like, nope, that's fine. Straight up, dude. Straight up. Yeah. Ah, he, he loves Hamas. That's why he said it. He wants the Holocaust to happen. Because he loves Hamas. He wants to hug and kiss Hamas. In 2011, in 2021, he actually lied about the state of Israel and Hamas and, and basically soft pedal Hamas's terrorism. He said, the Israeli... That's not even true. Like, we had this conversation earlier today, for the record. Uh, we had this conversation earlier today on the Leftovers podcast, which, unfortunately, you will not have access to because Ethan took it down and then got suspended. Um, so he won't even be able to upload it. Uh, Ethan is now suspended for a week because the, the immediate reaction campaign, uh, the manufactured outrage from literally everyone that was defending Kanye West, or basically turning a blind eye to the anti-Semitism expressed by Kanye West, decided, oh shit, we gotta, you know, we, we, we remember, uh, we care about anti-Semitism, uh, and, and decided that uh, Ethan Klein, who is Jewish, and literally has an Israeli citizenship and met his wife in Israel, uh, was, was actually, uh, you know, not trying to make a broader point about how, uh, you know, Ben Shapiro and Ben Shapiro's allies are unironically agitating for, uh, you know, unironically agitating for things like the Holocaust. Uploaded the rumble. That's right, baby. The government is making me sick. This is in the middle of the Gaza war started by Hamas in which they were firing literally hundreds of rockets into this. Ridiculous, 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 ridiculous. Okay, it was yet another Israeli campaign into Gaza uh, as they were mowing the grass, as they call it, okay? Center of Israel. Even if Hamas is operating out of a civilian building, it doesn't justify the total destruction of that building. It's inhumane. It says, as a dual citizen, I love Israel and the Israeli people. They deserve a government that actually believes... Literally, the fucking lightest criticism you can apply to Israel, like bombing the living shit out of one of the areas with the highest population density with like the average is like 14, okay? Kids have PTSD. Israel bombs the Associated Press Al Jazeera building. And then like you criticize even a little bit, okay? It doesn't matter if you're Israeli. It doesn't matter if you're Jewish. 
literally you criticize it a little bit bench bear will come for you okay he just turns around and makes that seem like that's not a big deal that's not a problem that's nothing holy fuck meanwhile he is candace owens's boss and considers candace owens's defense of kanye west anti-semitism to be a simple matter of disagreement just a little bit of a disagreement it's not a big deal Why doesn't he come for you? He's come for me before. He called uh, me describing the IDF kettle and corral tactics that they taught the American police force after 9-11 to be blood libel, which of course, uh, you know, uh, is, is well documented, I guess, uh, blood libel. He, he uh, compared it to straight up blood libel, you know. Lies told by Jewish people to justify pogroms. That's what he compared it to. Oh, anyway... Stop defending it, man, says the youngest BB boomer. No, I said it. I said exactly what I said earlier, which is that Ethan's sentiment was problematic. It was, it was aggressive, and it was going to get clipped out, and people were going to fucking shit on Ethan for it, of course. Not only that, but I also mentioned to Ethan earlier today that having heated moments like that undermines the overarching message that you're trying to put together because people are going to literally use that against you. They're going to weaponize it. And I'm saying this because this happens to me all the fucking time, every single day. There's a better way to word certain things. And sometimes we get fucking mad. These guys are very easily looking for any way to deflect away from the anti-Semitism conversation. They have been caught. Kanye West is their main champion now, and he's saying a bunch of insane anti-Semitic nonsense. So how do you shift attention away from that? You shift it away to anyone and everyone that you can call anti-Semitic. That's precisely why they did that. He's in peace and not force and violence. The ultra-right Jewish settlers are among the greatest provocateurs in the world. They're shameless and hateful, fueled by religious zeal enabled by the Israeli government. I wish the settling and repossession of Palestinian land would stop. I wish the bombing in Gaza would stop. Gaza Bro, he's more mad. Dude, this is so funny. He's literally more mad about Ethan's statements that are like, I would say, on the lighter side uh, with respect to criticizing Israel. He's more mad about that then Ethan saying what he said about the Holocaust, okay? Even though his overarching point was that, like, Ben is going to be responsible for the next one. That's fucking hilarious, okay? Like, he says, <laughs> Ethan Klein, I wish the bombings in Gaza would stop. Ben Shapiro, this is literally a pogrom. This is the worst thing that Ethan Klein could have ever said significantly worse is the most anti-semitic thing i've ever heard in my entire life ethan klein palestinians are human beings ben shapiro do you see this do you see this i cannot believe how unbelievably anti-semitic this bad jew is because that's what he's saying ben is saying that ethan klein is a bad jew ben has said that there are such things as bad jews okay he has said it time and time again he calls anyone and everyone i mean this is his Sentiment about, uh, obviously, Arabs, uh, Palestinians in general, okay? Hashtag settlements rock. But also, also on top of that, he has literally time and time again said, there are such things as bad Jews, okay? Anyone who does not subscribe to Ben Shapiro's monolithic approach, okay? to defending Israel unconditionally, regardless of how violent and how inhumane its treatment of Palestinians could be. If you criticize it, you're a bad Jew. That's what Ethan says. I know this tweet is also blocked in France and Germany, by the way, because, you know, it is a horrible thing that he said. Ben Shapiro, who was happy to perform a purity test on me and declare me a bad Jew for criticizing Israel, host Candace Hitler just wanted to make Germany great again. Owens, on his website, The Daily Wire, he's constantly excusing, enabling, and platforming real anti-Semitism. Hold on, I gotta get the door. Fuck, hold on.
Huh. Sorry, I had to run to grab something that was being delivered. The joke that I made I was suspended for simply points out that Ben, who is desperate to be accepted by his Christian nationalist friends as, as white, will only ever be seen by them as a useful idiot and, sadly for him, a Jew. The people reporting me, except Ben, are tiki torch-carrying white Christian nationalists. They do not give a fuck about anti-Semitism or Jewish people. They revel in the fact that YouTube and other institutions are so quick to act on bad faith and malicious outrage. It's true. This stuff is true. They're currently the greatest beneficiaries of cancel culture, identity politics, and moral outrage. It's incredible that they've become the party of free speech while decrying and lobbying for my deplatforming. They both condemn and defend cancel culture in the same breath. I, unlike many who would dismiss me as woke, have spent hundreds of thousands of hours actively fighting the strength of our First Amendment. Our first lawsuit against Matt Haas has been published on copyright.gov as a seminal case for fair use and is often cited in legal briefs. Our current lawsuit, Ryan Kavanaugh, seeks to accomplish the same. I will not back down or, or be silenced by bad faith provocateurs. I make no apology. As Ben Shapiro says, facts don't care about your feelings, if only he meant it. I, once again, humbly request that any and all naysayers, haters, detractors, and fallen fans alike suck my tiny Jewish dick. Thank you. So, while I do think that, while I do think that personally, uh, he said things that, Ethan said something that like opens him up to uh, a lot of criticism. It's coming from people like this. The Jewish people have always been plagued by bad Jews who undermine it from within. In America, those bad Jews largely vote Democrat. I've posted these a lot, but like he's pretty anti-Semitic himself from gatekeeping the religion, using terms like globalist, using the bad Jew narrative, and so much more. Also, Netanyahu had previously downplayed Hitler's anti-Semitism, so, so has Candace Owens, to be fair to her. He's not Jewish in any real way. He's a militant at wart, and her vagina should not be an electoral merit. I have no comment on the Jewish space laser. That, of course, is the first rule of Jewish space laser. The second is we don't roll on Shabbos. These are jokes, though. Like, these are literally fucking... Like, these are things that Ben Shapiro is allowed to say. I, I, I'm sorry. Like, that's... Those are things that he's allowed to say. The Jewish people... This, on the other hand, is a bad faith fucking thing to say. This is a bad and anti-Semitic thing to say. The, the idea that, like, all Jews are supposed to be fucking... What is this? Love the definitely not anti-Semitic audience Ben Shapiro has cultivated. Ain't it crazy how every time shit comes back to bite Ethan in the ass, he pulls out the race card? Starting to think Kanye might be on to something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Starting to think. Motherfucker, when have you not thought that? Like, let's be real. It, it's not Kanye that made you anti-Semitic, okay? You were already anti-Semitic. <sighs> He's sounding like Kanye, too. My next book will likely be about bad Jews, and the Jews in Hollywood play a prominent role. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't give me a job <laughs> when I wrote an incredible play and no one wanted to purchase it. That is why I became a white nationalist. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, you know, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. We deserve to live a life free of fear for all of the crimes Hamas has committed. We must always remember they're not Palestine. The Israeli government holds all the power. It's on them to stop the violence and show a true willingness for peace. So yeah, definitely soft peddling and uh, massaging Hamas in the middle of a war while also chortling about which Jews should go first to the gas chambers. He seems like a really nice person, just generally a very nice person. I will, again, just repeat that no matter who you are, I hope that you don't die in a Holocaust. It seems like the baseline of basic- Unless you're Palestinian, in which case it's totally apt and adequate human decency, but apparently not so much. Alrighty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing. Now you're not going to want to. Okay, that's it. God damn, he gave him three minutes. He gave more to my fucking house, dog. Holy shit. He, just, he doesn't even give a fuck about what Ethan Klein said because he is aligned with people who say things like that on a daily basis about all Jews, okay? 
not just Ben Shapiro, and it's not about Ben Shapiro's own uh, culpability in the in the upcoming uh, Holocaust slash uh, you know uh, race war slash whatever kind of fucking uh, genocide these these psychos these right wing nationalists uh, you know cook up. Okay, that's why he doesn't give a shit about uh, what Ethan Klein said. Okay, you he, he probably hears it from his own side regularly. Do you think Shapiro even believes this shit, or is he adopting these views for money? I, I think that he is, he believes a lot of it, I think. That's, uh, yeah. Twenty twenty two shaping up to be even worse year than twenty sixteen, maybe even twenty twenty. In fairness, didn't he leave, didn't he leave Breitbart because of anti semitism? He did, which of course is hilarious because it's very clear that he did leave Breitbart because of anti semitism. He didn't leave Breitbart because they had a black crime tag. Yeah, he did. You guys didn't know that? It's like the, it, it, it's like the Onion uh, uh, article, you know? Why do these homosexuals keep sucking my dick? But for Ben Shapiro, it's like, why do all my allies keep fucking saying anti-Semitic shit? If you guys have seen this uh, Onion uh, article before, I hope. <laughs> Why do all these white nationalist allies of mine keep saying shit about the Jews? What's going on? I don't get it. Yeah, here, this is it. <laughs> Why do all these homosexuals keep sucking my cock? Ben Shapiro celebrating the literal Nazi mass murder and torturer led effort to capture Che Guevara is the least surprising thing ever. How Nazi butcher Klaus Barbie helped kill Che Guevara and unleash the global cocaine scourge. Listen. Sometimes you ideologically align with these people. Communism is significantly worse. <laughs> He's like the number one target of anti-Semitic hate, largely from the right. I don't know how he justifies it. Uh, he's worth $140 million or something. I think, uh, you know, you can, you can shove the money in your ears and, and not hear it coming from literally your own audience. Let's be real. What? You shouldn't draw equivalencies between the settler violence and genocide in Palestine and the Holocaust. They aren't similar in many ways. And it's used to undermine and erase the Holocaust. Not drawing those equivalencies is being part of being pro-Palestine, anti-Zionist, and pro-Jew. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's the same. And that is not my intention. No, that person is being genuine. You guys are being fucking silly, okay? Uh, calm down. Instead of jumping down someone's throat. It's semantics for the most part. Let's be real. Okay? And I'm only using it in this respect because Ben's like, I don't, I would never want uh, the Holocaust to happen to anyone. And I just added it on to the end part where I said, unless it's the Palestinians. But I see what, uh, what the point is, what the, what the perspective is. He's literal filled as a trash person. His person can be so uncracked. He hit a headshot. Go 
Go into a Civil War reenactment of slaves? No, I don't want to do that. No, you can make Nazi comparisons, I think. Like, Nazi comparisons can be valid, but directly stating that it's exactly the same as the Holocaust is not. I understand that, which is not what I was saying. Oh, now you're anti-semantic. I am not anti-semitic, but I am anti-semantics. That is true. I do get annoyed with uh, semantics uh, from time to time. Um, 